One moment, please. Jingyan, give me the photos. <laughs> Once again, our help is required. Oh, it is really laggy in here. What the hell? Let me see if I can sort this real quick. Okay, there we go. Much better. I'm here to help with the investigation. Oh, so you are. And these would be Miss March 7th and Mr. Yang, I presume. Yes, I am also glad we get to see them. I wasn't expecting them to be in this companion mission. <laughs> That's right. I'm the first one. He's the second. We're here to help. Okay, match. Don't March, have to be a competition. Try not to sound too excited. We're here for work, remember? <laughs> oh, you're the one getting excited. Oh, my first detective case. Wow, Finally, first? Finally, my intelligence and wisdom have a chance to shine. <laughs> okay. Okay, match. But first detective mission. I thought with how many trips they've been on, they've probably got on more than that, but... Miss March, I... Mr. Yang. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Make yourselves comfortable. <clears throat> it... One moment, please. Jing Yan, give me the photos! <laughs> <sighs> coming, coming, stop yelling. <sighs> Thanks for waiting. These are the outworld uh, travelers who were sighted in the location specified by the general and the master diviner. This was two days before the ambrosial arbor came back to life. Another thing I hate is when characters have the same, like, name at first, like, you know, Jin Yuan, Jin Li, Jin Yan. Uh, it gets so confusing to me personally, which already struggles with remembering names, which is probably not going to be that important. We'd like you to take a look. Do you recognize any of them as a threat? I can't let see them. Let me take a look. Hmm, so these are the suspects. Please don't let Marge uh -huh. be on the case on this. Hmm, I see. Oh, well. Oh, Void Archives? Yeah? Okay. What's wrong, Mr. Yang? See oh. All right, go on, Well, Tell us what you know. Who's he? Uh, I'd like to see more information on him. Yeah, sure thing, Wilt. Sure. Which one? <laughs> Let me see. He ain't gonna tell us. Yeah, let's copy match. What's wrong, Mr. Yang? See anything fishy? I thought we talked about <laughs> copying people. It's fun. I don't have any concrete evidence, but I think he's worth checking out. Oh, really? I wonder why, oh, Wilt. Him? I remember him. He's a traveling merchant. <gasps> he trades throughout the universe. Knows a thing or two about remedial arts, too. He registered himself on the Xianzhou as... Uh, what was it again? Locha? Oh shit, am I doing the Locha companion mission? Damn, <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought I was doing Yan Qing's companion mission. Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. <laughs> Locha. His name is Locha. Locha, okay. That's right, Locha. He came to the Xianzhou with a huge box this time. Some mm. sort of funerary contraption. It had a funny name, something to do with coughing. Yeah, mm. It was pretty conspicuous. I had to ask him about it. So yeah, here's my theory. Locha is this uh, universe's void archives. And the thing inside of his coffin is either a dead Aeon or a son that he loved. Or maybe both. Maybe it's a dead Aeon, the Aeon of like beauty or something. There was something similar to that. And he also loved her. Who knows? That's what I've been waiting for. Well, to actually meet Locha. A coffin. It's a tool that certain non shinjo travelers seem to use in death rites. I'm guessing our guests here might recognize it. Huh. <laughs> I swear he said coughing. Anyway, we checked him out. His record on the Sienjo is squeaky clean. Mm. As for this caffeine thing... Sussy boy. Coffin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either way, it definitely had something to do with funerals. Mm. There are lots of travelers on the Lafu, each with their own star system and death rites. I guess that must be Locha's line of work. Is there something up with him? I don't know. He, he, he seems quite suspicious to me. I, I think he's a good dude, though. I don't think he's a bad guy. Not necessarily, but I have my reasons for wanting to investigate. What was he doing in the days leading up to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection? Hmm. That's complicated. Come with me to the Foursquare Mirror. It'll be easier to explain. All right, let's go. I'm actually excited now. Exalting Sanctum is one of the Lafu's crucial central cities. The higher-ups are very concerned about security issues here. That's why there are so many Psycranes stationed in the area. I'm actually glad I watched the video on who is Welt, 
and got more information about it, since this is going to be playing a huge part in this, I'm guessing. Lacha arrived on the Lafu a few days prior to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Suspicious? Up until the day before the resurrection, there was nothing suspicious about his behavior. Hmm. Uh, I figured it out! The day before the resurrection, he appeared near the Ambrosial Arbor with a Stellaron! Uh... Uh, Arika, that solves everything. <laughs> if that were the case, the Realm Keeping Commission would have arrested him uh, by now. Why look to us for help? What was that dialogue? That was great. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, jeez, this is gonna be a tough case to crack if even my instincts are off. Yeah, your instincts match. <laughs> you lot are enthusiastic. I'll give you that. The reason I mentioned the day before the resurrection is because. We have no idea what he did that day. God, they are just making him out to be more and more suspicious. Okay, Locha, what are you being up to? The resurrection brought about unusual yin-yang phenomena that caused the entire Psycrane system to malfunction. The image data from the day of the incident is beyond restoration. Mm. And the data from that day before was badly affected. Now, I don't think he's the cause behind it, but I think he knew it was going to happen. And he used that to his advantage to satisfy his own goal. That's my thought. But how did he know if that's the case? Why don't you just ask him? That ain't gonna work. We will, in due course. But we can't be too general. Specific questions are key. Not to mention, without a clear suspicion, it would involve multiple interrogations. Yeah. So, if you feel this Lacha is suspicious in some way, make it known. Then I can arrange for his detention and interrogation. <laughs> put him in detention. How should I put this? He just looks kind of... Go on. Uh, Mr. Yang, you were going off of his appearance this whole time? <laughs> I you thought can't. you had some super secret thing up your sleeve. Uh, didn't your mom ever tell you not to Ooh, judge a book by its... I don't know too much about Well, Does Well have parents? Are they still alive? What? <laughs> this could be quite bad. Oh, should we cough, March? You know what? I'll I'll send for Locher. His parents? He looks pretty handsome to me. Exactly. <laughs> huh? Well, wait, that's not the point. Oh, <laughs> uh, it is. Sorry. What I mean is, hmm, it's difficult to uh -huh. explain, but my instinct tells me this Locha is involved somehow. Oh, well, people are going to have the wrong impression if you keep going off by appearance, all right? You got to tell what you know. Apologies. Uh, I realize this is personal speculation. Yeah. That's all right. Instinct is an important part of any Realm Keeping Commission investigation. There are times when my gut tells me something's not right, and there's usually a reason for it. I'm with you on this one. Y he is suspicious. Be that as it may, as an official, I can't go bringing someone in based on a villainous appearance. I mean, he don't look like a villain now. Come on, let's not put him that low. He is pretty hot, though. Because if a complaint led to his dismissal, it would leave a blemish on his resume, making it difficult for him to advance his career for the next few centuries. At least they're still looking out for him. Precise no! <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, if you want to investigate, I can grant you access to the four square Oh, uh, okay. Jing Yan? You'll be assisting our esteemed guests in their investigation. I like these two's the dynamic. What's their name? Daho and yeah, Jin Yan. Okay. Uh, isn't it inappropriate for an officer of the Realm Keeping Commission to assist the public in investigating someone? Bez. Ah, not at all. Make sure you don't leave the commission. Just help them check the site cream footage. All right. Keep me updated on progress. If you find hard evidence, I'll be there in a flash. One thing, though. Don't approach him. If you make a discovery, contact me first. Maybe. We're thankful that you're entrusting this to us. We'll keep it by the book. Right. We can Don't re worry. The express crew keeps its promises. We won't disappoint you. Yeah, we have trusty well with us, so, you know, everything is definitely going to go okay. Maybe. If it was any other time, but because Locher looks like Void Archives, things might go a bit AWOL. <sighs> Jingyan, over to you. I need to get going. Right. Understood. This might take you some time. Come and find me when you're ready. Aye, aye. This man's voice seems very familiar to you. 
Where have you heard it before? Huh? Who? Wait, who? This man, Locher, uh, Daho, uh, Welt? What, what the? <laughs> Whose man's voice are we talking about? I'm guessing Locher's. Oh, hi. Hey, hello. We may be new to the Sienjo, but we're already investigating the mysterious disappearance of Luocha. <gasps> you're acting a little weird today, Match. Yeah, you're the suspicious one. Am I? I feel pretty normal. Anyway, this case has really got my detective blood pumping. It's probably why. I need to get to the bottom of it. I've been familiarizing myself with the angler mystery lately. I think it's safe to say I have the best investigative mind on the express at this point. Yeah, sure thing, uh, March. The angler mystery? Mm, you have good taste, Miss March. The angler mystery is a classic yeah. detective novel on the Sienjo. I read it when I was young and dreamed about working in the commission ever since. Uh, a bunch of detective nerds, eh? I respect it. I didn't think it would be attracting new readers over 200 years later. That makes sense, because March is probably, what, over 200 years old when before she got trapped in ice? Kind of makes sense, you know? Oh, a fellow reader! <gasps> but Miss Ching Yen, the author, Su Fong, was the lead medical assistant in an apothecary, and the main character, the angler, is a healer. Why didn't you want to join the Alchemy Commission instead? I need to grab that. Uh, a number of reasons. This job may be trivial, but I have my reasons for being here. Plus, <laughs> the threshold for the Alchemy Commission was too difficult for me to reach. I feel you. Oh, I see. But your lives are so long. Shouldn't career change be easy? Uh, I don't think it works mm, like I that. considered it once. That was Maybe. a long time ago. The longer I stay in this job, the more I understand its purpose. Fighting crime, helping the weak, solving Valid. the problems no one wants to touch. It's a satisfying feeling. You know what? Valid reasoning. I respect that a lot. Wow. Good for you, Miss Ching Yen. Yeah. Round of applause. Sounds like you really care. <laughs> I owe you two an apology. My speculations have gotten us into a delicate situation. No, no, no. Go on, go I'll on. I'll treat you to some Sienjo delicacies later. Oh, you could tell us. With March here, it's always going to be a delicate situation. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, since when did investigators shy away from delicate situations? Mm. I did want to say something, though. Um, I don't think Mr. Yang is the kind of person to make a judgment mm. based only on instinct. Yeah, how about you, uh... I think so, too. So, uh, well, how about you tell us uh, what you're hiding from everyone? Mm -hmm. It's not something I need to conceal from you. Yeah, you do it anyway. As you know, there are infinite worlds in this universe that can be similar yet different from each other in various ways. The same is true of the people on those worlds. Oh, he's telling us. That's why it's possible for us to run into individuals on multiple worlds who share an appearance but not a personality. Mm. For all we know, in some faraway world, March's adorable face might belong to an intergalactic pirate. Is this a reference to Honkai Third Impact that March's character in that is an intergalactic pirate? Maybe? I don't know too much about Honkai Third Impact. I knew she was suspicious. Uh, hey! He was just giving an example. I'm the nicest girl in the galaxy. Hmm, sure. I'm on to you, March. However, in most cases, their fates will walk a similar course. I've seen two people who looked almost identical to this Wolcha. They were not of the virtuous persuasion. Two, eh? We've got Void Archives. And who's the other one, though? Huh. That's why the moment I laid eyes on him, a chill ran down my spine. March is right. We shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Mm. But I can't overlook this. Valid, though. I don't want to force you into trusting my judgment, but... I'm with you, Well, all right. What are you talking about? Of course we trust your judgment, Mr. Yang. Right? On the Express, we always trust our own. Of course. Mm -hmm. Crew members are always right. <laughs> I'm glad you believe in me. Yeah, Truly. okay. But the problem remains. Will the Realm Keeping Commission trust a judgment based on this logic? No. <clears throat> 
From a Xianzhou legal standpoint, the Realm Keeping Commission is unable to accept a judgment like yeah, this. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> it's not that we distrust you, evidence. Mr. Yang, but we cannot act on groundless accusations. I hope you understand. And still, so, yeah, different personalities, you know? Of course. We raised the accusation. We will carry the burden of proof. Hmm. Research records trying to persuade. Um, I can bring off. up the data any time from here. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, follow me. Let's get to it. Jin Yan takes everyone to the far square mirror and begins to retrieve the footage. As official Da Hao mentioned, the arbor caused unusual yin yang phenomena, which affected the entire Psycrane system. Okay. We lost a lot of video footage, and for the image data we recovered, the timestamps are all jumbled up. Look. This is Mr. Locha on the day prior to the resurrection. Okay, what are you up to, Locha? So we have to clean up and reorder the footage ourselves? <gasps> exactly. Okay. Thank you again for your help. Uh, don't worry, we'll put in the uh, extra this is effort. This your forte. Over to you. What? Me? My forte says who? Uh, hey, I said over to you. You can't back out now. God damn it, man. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Lovejoy crossed the street and turned into a strange corner. It looks dangerous there, but he didn't seem to care at all. He paced in with nothing but a sword in hand. Oh, he's on a mission. Lovejoy walked out of a small aim without any heavy luggage. Wait, so does this just have like details on everyone's name and what they're doing at all times? That is creepy. I'm just putting it out there, right? No sense of privacy. Lovejoy walked into spare time bookshop. Family matters are always tricky. Shut up. <laughs> Locha walked into a spare time bookshop and stepped out after a while. He left with nothing in hand. Perhaps he didn't buy anything. Locha is looking into the distance at the dock of Exalting Santrum with a coffin at his side. Maybe he just left at Star Skiff. Maybe he's waiting for a new Star Skiff. He walked along the dock for a while and put aside his luggage, leaning on the railing and watching Star Skiffs passing by the dock. Oh, what do you think? Any idea what the correct order is? Oh, is that what we was meant to be looking at? Oh, for fuck's sake. I wish you told me beforehand, all right? The uh, Locha? So we have to clean up and reorder the footage ourselves? God damn it. I want to see the videos again. Sure. Which one do you want to watch? I can see it being 4231 or 2314. Yeah, 2314. Hmm, 2314. Yeah. The Locha emerges from the inn goes to spare time bookshop, turns into an alley, then appears at the dock with his luggage. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. He must have found a treasure map what? at spare time bookshop. He went into the alley to dig it up and then went home with his newfound riches. Okay, sure. On second thought, <laughs> nah, this order feels awkward. Try arranging it again. Okay. Then it's four, two, three, one. Uh, let me see if this order works. Hmm. Locha exits the star skiff, enters Exalting Sanctum, goes into an inn, and puts down his luggage. Yep. Including the coffin. Ah, right, this is the right one. Then he goes to spare time bookshop, but doesn't buy anything. Finally, he leaves and turns a corner into a dark alley. Big bro. The logic in this is sound. Looks like the correct order. Nice work. That was a 50-50 chance. It was one or the other. Ah, nice work indeed. Your sidekick to a genius detective, after all. Match, how dare you take credit, all right? Where does this corner lead to? Yeah, what's going on here? I checked the map and found a gate in this open area. Look, there's a small dock on the other side. He may have left on a star skiff. All right, let's just follow his footsteps. Why would he leave Exalting Sanctum via a secluded dock? That's so suspicious. It is indeed. I don't think Mr. Luocha could have departed from there. The dock you're referring to is Yun Shou Crag 999. It belongs to the Seat of Divine Foresight. It's only used during invasions. Yeah, that's the number for 999. It's only used during invasions. Wasn't technically the place getting attacked? Oh, was this day before the attack happened? I think that's the case. That's why that gate is almost always locked. As far as I know, it's been locked for centuries and only gets opened for occasional inspections. Hmm, he probably the used it. The question is, when did he leave? There's only one gate in this area, at least on the map. Miss Jingyan, 
Does the remaining footage show anyone else entering or leaving this place? Hmm. I can find out, but you'll have to wait a while. Most of the footage was lost, but at least there was a whole day of recording. There's a uh, lot decent. that needs checking and confirming first. Yeah, they're making him out to be too suspicious, so I feel like there's something at play. Since when they make a character too suspicious, it normally ends up not being the case. <sighs> Family matters are always tricky. Yeah, man, I, I agree. Understood. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work. Thanks so much. We'll be waiting. Patiently. Your assistance in this matter is what requires gratitude. I'll get you what you need as soon as possible. Thank you, Jinyan. Keep nearly saying genuine, but I, I'm here. Thanks for waiting. I checked all of the footage we have of the open area. I say all. A lot of it was lost. Thanks for waiting. It literally took like two seconds. <laughs> Are the corrupted parts recoverable? Can we use the same methods again? Hmm. For some of them, maybe. But I can't guarantee anything. Time to improvise. I'll do my best, of course. It'll take more time. I can't hand them over just now. All right. If it takes another Thank two you. seconds, it'll be fine. Did you find anything in the remaining footage worth paying attention to? Hmm. Only that someone left the area through that exit around two hours after Locha's appearance here. Locha is nowhere to be seen, though. This is kind of creepy. What is going on here? Who are these weirdos? Isn't this the same girl in Locha's uh, trailer that he saved? Huh? That novel's gone to your head. <laughs> Shush! You're being annoying! I'm not kidding! This is straight out of the book! Kinda weird. Now that you mention it... Uh, I'm not sure I follow. I'm with you, Well. <laughs> uh, the Angler's origin story, of course! He's a healer from the Alchemy Commission who gets on the uh... wrong side of a mysterious organization called the Tea Society. Two agents in dark clothing wait for him to be alone and then poison him. Oh, okay. So the angler is Locher and the tea society is probably, uh, I don't know, the cultists? I don't know. The drug has the same de-aging effect as the Vidyatara's hatching rebirth. The angler gets younger and turns back into a child. From there on out, the angler pursues the tea society while solving all kinds of strange cases. So if this is a reference to Locha, is he de-aging? A drug like that sounds like it would help people stricken with Mara. True. That would actually, yeah, that would work. It wouldn't. Oh. In the book, the drug only de-ages the body. Okay. It can't repair damage to the soul. Uh. In other words, it's like molting. Not a true rebirth. Ah, oh, so if you get screwed in the soul, you pretty much, you become a broken baby pretty much then. <laughs> Hatching rebirths are specific to the Vidyadara. Can humans also experience de-aging? Wouldn't be healthy, uh, I don't think. It's just a novel. Who knows if something like that could happen in reality? Mm. I thought of it as soon as I saw this footage, though. How much do you read that novel for, to actually be able to, like, piece that together? Because there's only two things. You only read it recently, or you've read it so much it's been engraved into your mind. It wouldn't surprise me if it's both for much. Su Fang, the author, was a medical assistant in the Alchemy Commission. The medical principles of the novel are strictly grounded in reality. Huh. True. If someone from the Alchemy Commission was suggesting it could be done, then there's always a possibility. So, uh. March, what you mean is, the two people in dark clothing are tea society agents, and the child is a de-aged Locha? That's what I'm thinking. <gasps> what if a crazy angler mystery fan decided to commit a copycat crime? Locha gets turned into a child, then follows a mysterious duo in black, Oh, the plot thickens. This could be a kidnapping. I don't think he's turned into a child. That looked like a female child to me, but it also would be very adorable to see Loach as a child. <sighs> the child in the footage has black hair. Locha's hair is blonde. He might have dyed it. I don't Loach it. Family matters are always tricky. We get it, my guy. You've said it multiple times. Adult Locher might look blonde, but maybe he's just going gray with age. Uh, yeah, makes sense to me. Makes no sense. Hold your horses, everyone. I recognize this child now. That's Yinshu, the young shopkeeper at Spare Time ah. Bookshop. Oh, true. No de-aging, no <laughs> angler. 
and the child is a girl. Uh, uh, a detective's initial conjectures are bound to be wrong. <laughs> totally expected. The fact that you cannot see basic information like that is scary. The Psycranes weren't able to get a clear look at the two people in dark clothing. Let's ask Inshu. Maybe she saw something. Alright. I'll keep trying to recover the lost footage. I'll contact you if there's a breakthrough. Alright, sounds good. Alright, let's go! Time to interview the witness! Wood, wood, alright. I don't see the shopkeeper. Uh, let's look for her in the area. I mean, she is quite small. She might still be, like, you know, below the count or something. Business hours aren't over yet. She should be nearby. You two go ahead. I'll wait here in case she comes back. Alright. Okay, let's go. Away on temporary business. Please come back later. Uh, looks like Yin Shu isn't here after all. Where could she be? Oh. The hatching rebirth conundrum. Selling out everywhere. <laughs> A new addition after so many years? Calm down, Match. Looks like I made the right choice coming to the Lafu. As soon as we've cracked this case, I'm getting myself a copy. Uh, Su Fong is the greatest. It's going to be sold out by the time we're done in it. Uh, hey, mister. Oh, hello. Are you manning the counter for the young shopkeeper of Spare Time Bookshop? I mean, he's nowhere near it. Huh? <laughs> young shopkeeper? You mean Young Shu? <laughs> yeah, I am. Something wrong? I mean, if you are, you should be behind the counter, my guy. I'm just saying. Um, can you please tell us where she is? <laughs> Why should I? <laughs> Alright, my guy. You're this close to getting punched. I, I'm just saying. Uh, because we're asking nicely? What's with the attitude? Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you. If you pay me 500 strails. How about we pay you with something else? <laughs> pay you? <laughs> what is this? You want paying for a simple favor? Be suspicious. Let's beat him up. <laughs> Come on. No one ever tell you that information and intelligence are the most valuable commodities? Uh, also this guy doesn't seem like the negotiable type. What should we do? Absolutely based. We have no money, but we can pay you with a beatdown. Oh, you dare threaten <laughs> me. <laughs> do you know who I am? I honestly couldn't give two shits, my guy. The question is... Do you know who we are? Or we're from the Tea Society. <laughs> oh, you mean like the one in that work of fiction? Who are you trying to kid? I mean, I don't want to expose our identities, all right? <laughs> and who do you think were the inspiration for the Tea Society? Us, that's who. Ooh. <laughs> Sounds like a pack of lies. Still, they don't seem like pushovers. Y you're talking out loud, my dude. Dang it! Am I in trouble? Ugh, better to live and find another day. Dude, you're gonna keep those thoughts to yourself and not, you know, actually say them out loud? Ugh, forget it. I'm not stooping to your level. <clears throat> she said she had a voucher for a food stall over an exalting sanctum. She wanted to use it before it expired. You know, she's not been gone long. Probably finishing up her food right now. Uh, okay, thank you very much. <clears throat> About time you saw the light. Come on, let's go. Can we still beat him up, though? Are you Yinshu? The shopkeeper at Spare Time Bookshop? There's something we want to talk to you about. Yeah, real quick. Now that we've left a well, I'm fearful that we're going to run into Locha and that they're going to miss that interaction. Hopefully they don't do that. Yeah, that's me. Can I help you? You're heading back to the store, right? Let's walk and talk. I'll tell you all about it on the way. If you can... Oh, uh... Okay, let's go. Look, if you can sum up the story within that walking distance, I'm going to be very proud of you, March. You return to the spare time bookshop. On the way over, you get Yin Shu up to speed. That footage, I remember that day. After I closed up the store, I walked around for a while. I was looking for a place to read. Ah, so two weirdos were just stalking a child. I found that empty area. It seems like a good reading spot at first, but then I noticed two people dressed in dark clothing Ugh. and a blonde outworlder hanging around. Something didn't feel right. So I left. Those two people left the same way I did. I feel like Locho was probably protecting her, right? So you just happened to be going the same way. Did you see what the outworlder was doing? Hmm. Mm, sorry. 
I was only trying to find a place to read. I didn't pay much attention to him. Or the two in dark clothing. All I remember uh. is the two people in dark clothing. Uh, they smell pretty bad. I guess months. that's not much of a clue. Sorry, I can't give you any useful information. Okay, the smell thing is actually pretty useful, but you should be keeping more aware of your surroundings. If you see two people in dark clothing going the same way as you, you put those little legs into work and you run. <laughs> and don't look back. On the contrary, any information you can give is valuable. Thank you very much. The smell thing is actually pretty useful. Still, according to the Psy Crane recordings, Rocha's final stop before heading towards the open area was your store. Hmm. My store? Spare time bookshop? Yes. You're sure he came to... Oh, that's right. I remember now he did pay a visit. Oh, how could I forget? What did he, he do? In, looked at a few titles, and then handed one to me. An old paperback. Oh. Everything seemed normal, but after paying for it, he immediately tore off the title page. <laughs> I was shocked, but he was grinning ear to ear, so I didn't dare ask him about it. Guess he liked the title page, man. He might have a thing for it. <laughs> after that, he just left the book on the counter and went on his way. I can't believe I'd forget something like that. I guess the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection the day after pushed everything else to the back of my mind. That would do that to a person. So, what was the book? The Angler Mystery. Makes sense. I was wondering what to do about it. I can't sell a book without a title page. But uh, since you asked about it, here, you can have it. And uh, we got another copy, eh? Uh, Mr. Yang's instinct was right all along. Uh... Locha is a villain. How can he do this? Tearing up a book as well written as the Angler Mystery. <laughs> Unacceptable. I mean, he paid for it, so he has the rights to just rip it up. Why did Locha tear up the title page? If I knew the answer to that, wouldn't that make me as evil as him? All right. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're forgetting that the Realm Keeping Commission was initially investigating whether someone brought a dangerous object onto the Law Fu. Hmm. I don't think it was Locha. The How and the others are probably not aware of what that dangerous object might be. Mm -hmm. But we know for a fact that it's the Stellaron. Indeed. I think that by removing the page, Locha may have provided us with a key piece of the puzzle. I don't understand. Me neither. What does tearing out a page have to do with the Stellaron? <laughs> are you following Mr. Yang? Nope. I'm lost. <laughs> That's all right. This is a bit of a conjectural leap. Can you tell us? What I'm trying to say is, I think Law Cha may have friends on the Law Fu, and they're using the title page to communicate. Ah, okay. I'm impressed you came to that conclusion, but it makes sense. <sighs> that makes him even worse. How dare he use a book that praises justice for his evil plans? Oh, man, you've I'm afraid totally evil him. plans are still within the realm of speculation at this stage. We have no way of knowing exactly what he did because the Psycrane data was lost. True. So, is this a dead end? Uh, oh. Oh, well, look, look at that. Look at the time. And do you have some time? Please come back to the Realm Keeping Commission when you can. I fixed some of the recordings, and there is a section you might find interesting. Miss Jin Yen's help is right on time. Thank you so much. We'll head there immediately. Okay, please be careful on the way here. It's literally across the road. Ah, uh, that's more like it. New clues always turn up in the nick of time. Yeah. All right, what do you want to show us? So, we now know what time Luo Cha left the open area. Oh. Nice. You found footage of him leaving? Tell yes. us. According to the Psy Crane recordings, he left the area two hours after he entered. Ah, uh, strange. Why spend two hours in such a confined area? He must have been up to something. Yeah, beating ass. Really, this is the two options? Diarrhea and afternoon nap. Weren't we told he went in with a sword and he looked calm? That is terrifying. He probably killed people, but diarrhea? I'm gonna stop you right there. Refined wardrobe, elegant bearing. He may be a villain, but... <sighs> He doesn't look like someone who'd give up on finding a bathroom, even in an emergency. Hey, you never know. You never know. You can be elegant all you want, but you get hit with really bad diarrhea? That's anyone's game, alright? Uh, it's a shame no side cranes are installed in that area. 
We still have no idea what he was up to. This Lulcha is getting more suspicious by the minute. Uh, True. I know Mr. Yang never wears his heart on his sleeve, but do you get the feeling he's a little restless? It makes sense. Yeah, I reckon he must have bad blood with the other Lulchas he's mentioned. Remember, we're talking about different worlds here. Yeah. However, I can't deny I'm a little worried that what happened to my home world could befall this place too. Yeah, that was big. How does he always hear us? I mean, you are quite loud. Well, I'm afraid I have some other business to attend to. Let me know if you need anything. You know how to reach me. All right, sounds good. Uh, thanks for the help, Miss Chingyan. So, what did Law Cha get up to during those missing two hours? Probably beating people up. I think it's high time Detective March took the gloves off. All right, we're getting no answers. Oh? And what do you have in mind, Detective? Fieldwork? That won't be necessary, Mr. Yang. As the angler once said, a true detective operates as effectively from their armchair as from the scene of the crime. Right. Or to put it another way, I'm too lazy to explore the map. It's too early to start fieldwork. We must wait until my deduction is complete. We're not going to get then anything done. when we done. arrive at the scene, you'll see that the facts match my theory to a T. Sure thing, Match. <laughs> well, seeing as you're so confident, let's give your idea a try. All right. Uh, yay! Mr. Yang is the best. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ready? I'm going to start my reconstruction. I'm good. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Explaining a theory in front of everyone is more nerve-wracking than I expected. The flaw's all yours. Her theory is combat? <laughs> okay. Uh, this team is gonna slap. <laughs> all right. I'll be using the angler's deductive method. Reconstruct what happened from the bad guy's perspective. Oh, why, why you... And now I'm Lucha. I've been stunlocked. <laughs> oh, Jesus, why? <laughs> Mr. Yang, I'm scared. Uh, quit messing around. I'm thinking. I don't know why March's audio is coming out of my left ear. It's also showing on OBS of it doing that, so it has something to do with the in game audio. Oh, almost forgot about that title page. He took it with him. So it must have had some significance. All right, match with the uh, match with the up, work. I need to have a look at that map, Mr. Yang. Hmm. He must have gone through that gate up ahead. No way he would have stayed put in such a small area for two hours. I mean, we saw him go through the but gate. But Miss Jingyan mentioned that gate is a military asset. It's locked all year round. Hey, God, we're getting some ASMR from March and Welt. March in the left ear and Welt in the right. Uh, you think that would stop the likes of Luocha? What kind of Stellaron smuggler would he be if he couldn't get past a door? All right, Stellaron smuggler? <laughs> you think a lock like this can stop a girl like me? <laughs> girl? Uh huh? Is Luocha a girl? What's going on? <laughs> I think I'm actually going insane. Fine, I'll be me. You guys will have to imagine his lines instead. Such a rudimentary lock. Easy pickings. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Even if Lacha was able to unlock the door, what was his goal? His villain friends must have been waiting on the other <laughs> side to buy the Stellaron. He went to meet them. Okay, match. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Now that though. Easy. Now that I think about it, Something's not right. Why would they rendezvous at a military airfield? Hmm. Because, uh, well, we're too law-abiding to understand bad guy logic. Hiding in Shall plain I? sight, perhaps. Probably. Hold on. This would have been too quick a route. Ah, we're gonna make the long way around. And? What's wrong with a quick route? Hmm? Hey, we're breaking, like, all the fourth walls here. I don't like this. This is creepy. Ahem. What's wrong with the quick route, Mr. Yang? Yes, Mr. Yang. Tell us. We're trying to uncover what Law Cha did during those two hours. 
But even if he repeated this route 20 times, it wouldn't have taken him that long. Okay, so he went up, he went the long way around. Ah, oh, true. He must have had a tougher journey than I imagined. Oh, come on, let's start over. Alright. <laughs> You look like a tasty morsel. <laughs> Those who dare to enter here must face a delicious fate. Fucks. What is going on? <laughs> oh, the music though. Ha! Your eyes are bigger than your stomach, foul villain. How about you? <laughs> uh, Why is the monster talking now? I, I don't know. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, just a little dramatic effect. Ooh. Repay. A. Get thunder. A good fight, guys. Can we just like run for all of this? Monster layers in black market spaces. Uh, I doubt the law foo has any of that. At least I doubt things of that nature existed before the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Huh. Uh, is it really so far fetched? We're already assuming that Luocha came here to sell the Stellaron to a bunch of cutthroats. May as well throw in some monsters here and there. Uh, let's not pin that we're all assuming Luocha brought the Stellaron. You're the only one assuming that much. Does the story have to be this stimulating? Uh, it's more fun this way? I, I, we're trying to solve a case, not make up our own story. Anyway, it's not like we're going to be able to conjure up exactly what Luocha ran into. Fez. Why not use our own interpretation to bridge the gap? All right, valid. Hmm, I suppose that makes some kind of sense. Yeah, fair enough. You're clearly enjoying this, Mr. Yang. I, uh, I try to go with the flow. I mean, he is an animator, so, you know, him creating, like, stories, I can see it. I didn't expect this place to be so treacherous. I'll need to be on my guard going forward. Saw, dude. I wonder, just who is the buyer interested in the Stellaron? Not that much. The buyer is waiting there. Time to head over. Let's wait. Plausible. Looking at the map, this place is well hidden. Hmm. <sighs> Finally! Mr. Yang approves Detective March's theory. It's wrong. Let's see where this leads first. But it's Stop on. right there. State your business. What is going on? Is that Mr. Yang? Uh, no, that's Poir, the Chi Society's gatekeeper. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Isn't Puar a type of tea? That's right. He's a member of the Tea Society, so naturally he chose a type of tea as his alias. Smart. Hey, I'm talking to you. What's your business here? Can you tell him to be less aggressive? Uh, oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. May I ask whether you're here on business or... Alright, I'm invested now. Never mind. <laughs> I have a delivery for your boss. I need to give it to him in person. If you could let him know I'm here. Delivery? Ah, yes, the delivery. Uh -huh. The boss is waiting for you. I'm afraid I'll need to see some ID first. I gotta see some ID first, eh? I wonder if Locha has something prepared for this moment. We're just making up our own story here. Ah, uh, it'll be title page. That's the code. So you're the one. Hey. Wait here a moment. I'll call the boss right away. Thank you, my good sir. Take your time. Poir takes the page and goes to find the boss. Before long, Luocha sees an imposing figure walking towards him. Oh god, who's this imposing figure? It's gonna be March, isn't it? Boss, this is the one. He brought the delivery. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> I can't be asked. Cutest boss I ever saw. I couldn't think of anyone else to be Mr. Yang's boss. Like Sampo? I don't know. <laughs> this is our boss, Startaro Bubble. Let's see this delivery and make it snappy. The Startaro Bubble? <laughs> the milk tea. <laughs> so what? This is the Tea Society, remember? Alright. Not before I see the money. 
I'm sure you understand the rules of such a transaction. Yeah, I would. Save it. Show us the goods first. Yeah, show us the goods first, man. Easy now. The item in question is extremely dangerous. It's understandable that our friend here wants to take extra precautions. <laughs> what is going on? I'm not sure Pom Pom is the best casting choice for a gang boss. Hey, well, your opinion here is invalid. All right, Pom Pom makes the best boss. Uh, it it kind of <laughs> works, right? Yeah, sure. You are. Give him the money. Happy now? Ready to hand it over? Be careful. Uh huh. Dangerous is an understatement with this item. I'll take my leave. Just merely touching a Stellaron is probably going to put you in a lot of danger, all right? Bye. Yes, you will. <laughs> Permanently. Puar, get rid of him. Yo, well, for. Uh, well, oh, okay. Oh, this was all going so swimmingly. Yeah. I was hoping we would, be, we would get like a well versus Locher, but a big ass machine came out of nowhere. Selling a dangerous item to me makes you my accomplice. And I've got too many of those. To keep our little secret safe, I'm afraid I need to take special measures. Like, okay, let's make this scenario real. And if it did happen in game, why in the bloody hell would you attack someone that has somehow obtained a Stellaron, somehow delivered it and bypassed everyone? And you think it would be okay to actually try and get rid of them? That's a death sentence. Quite sensible when you think about it. No, it's not. I would be like, yeah, okay, let's not mess with that person. When it comes to minor details, March can be very logical. As for the rest of the story, this is something we disagree on well, okay? Speaking of which, when did I turn into an Arumaton? <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to ask. Uh, that's Puar's little secret. He transforms into an Arumaton in dire uh, situations. I see. I... <sighs> okay. <laughs> huh. And there I was, thinking you gangsters still had some decorum. What is going on? Repay! Or sleep. The dead return! Such a cool ability. From disappear among the sea of butterflies. Bye bye. Illusions Welt. of the past. Darn it! This isn't over. Angry pom pom is so cute. Fights like these don't go unnoticed in Exalting Sanctum. Cloud knights could show up at any minute. Better get going. Pom pom just died. And so Locha has to make a break for it. But where to? Let me have a look at the map. Aha, this way. Gotcha. Gotta run. That was the wind. Hey, stop right the there. wind. Halt! Who goes there? Hey, I'm just vibing. Nothing to see here. Uh oh. His only escape is to kill them. Climb aboard, Locha. Time to get out of here. Is that us? So Locha hopped on a star skip and fled with the help of his accomplice. And that, ladies and gents is the truth behind Lucha's disappearance. Bravo. Bravo. So, who was piloting the star skiff? Us. Uh, sounded like our voice. I'm not sure either. The pilot didn't show themselves, so uh, let's just assume it was her. It sounded like us. At least let the audience see my face. Uh, too many faces, too small a budget. <laughs> Maybe next time. Up the budget, man. We gotta get that top tier animation. March, as much as I enjoyed your deduction, I do have a few questions. I have a lot. For example, if Law Cha took flight from the dock, how could he appear in side crane footage two hours later? The fact that we relied on March to, to try and deduct everything is mind boggling to me, but okay. Also, the dock is a military installation. The Cloud Knights would be on the scene at the slightest disturbance. How did so many monsters show up without warning? See, well, where you went wrong here is that you believed in March to actually come to a solid conclusion, which is where everything just falls apart. Last but not least, even if Law Cha did encounter all of the troubles you described, it wouldn't have taken him two hours to escape. Yeah, it only took us like, what, five to <sighs> ten minutes? You're right, Mr. Yang. I guess I can't compete with the angler just yet. 
At least you saw that. You know what? Time for some field work. Maybe the answers to our questions are waiting for us at the scene. That's what I suggested. That might be the best approach. Let's go. We could have saved so much time. <laughs> Was this the two cloaked figures? Excuse me, officer. We're looking for someone. Can you help us? Uh, no, you you sound he's got like blonde cult. hair, and judging by the way he's dressed, I'd say he was an outworlder. Wow, why does that sound so wrong? He was an outworlder. Why well, are you gonna make it seem like something's weird? An outworlder with blonde hair? Could it be? No. May I ask why you're looking for him? He saved our life. Oh. Since when did we start sharing a life? <gasps> Back in. We're not rehearsing. Oh, I just realized it's back and forth. Uh, you can... I remember talking to them uh, when I first arrived to the Jianzhou. Okay, it's these guys. Okay, never mind. Great play on names, by the way. Excuse me, gentlemen. Would this blonde-haired, life-saving outworlder bear any resemblance to our suspect here? Oh, that's him! Oh, who would have guessed? Mr. Locha, he rescued both of us. Can I ask when this rescue occurred? It was... The day before the Ambrosial Arbor came back to life. There we go then. We were planning to thank him properly, but in the aftermath of the Arbor incident, we never had the time. Huh. Are you two... Now the people in dark clothing? What's with the wardrobe change? That performance. Dark clothing? Ah, oh, I know what you're talking about. What a pair of clowns we are. <laughs> dark clothing. <laughs> we fell into a ditch huh wait what what kind of ditch do you fall into okay there we were looking for a spot to practice our new routine we found a place eventually a little dilapidated but nice and quiet <sighs> shame about the giant ditch yeah that will uh, ruin some plans <sighs> I lost my footing and slipped right in. My associate here, Forth, yelled after me, Don't panic! Forth's got your back! Two seconds later, he landed on my back. Whoa. Unfortunately, the ditch was connected to a sewer outlet. We were covered head to toe in... Shit. Anyway, <laughs> I assume that's why you thought we had dark clothing on. A dignified story. I'm <laughs> sure you'll agree. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds very ah, no pleasant. No wonder Yin Shu said she had to cover her nose. Ah, yeah. True. Well, anyway, thankfully, Mr. Lorcha was passing by and dragged us back to dry land. It took all his strength, I'll wager. Uh, probably not all of his strength. He probably did it with ease. So, what did Locha do exactly? A thousand, A thousand thanks, kind stranger. stranger. Without your bravery, we'd never have gotten out of that ditch alive. My goodness. <laughs> no, sir. That if you ever need anything, and it's within our power to help, you can count on us. Oh, my Even God. it's beyond our power to help. I like these two, That's though. That's too kind of you. It was nothing, really. Okay. Kind guy, Locha. Nonsense. You went out of your way to... Don't worry about it. You should head back home now. Take care. Yeah, clean the shit off you, yeah? No, we can't thank you enough. I... Oh, one moment, both of you. That sewage could well contain harmful compounds. I'm something of a doctor. Let me True. give you a prescription. Make sure to use the medicine and get some good rest. Look, if I was in their situation, I would never feel clean after that. I could wash with bleach and I would still feel dirty. There you go. Look at that. I don't know what to say. Uh, sorry to trouble you. <laughs> uh, we'll take our leave now. Alright. Probably take Be careful on the back. Wouldn't want to find ourselves in another ditch now, would we? True. Honestly, you're probably going to be smelling for days after that, though. Here. That's the prescription he gave us. Okay. A paper flower? It's beautiful. <laughs> Did Luocha make this? Quite weird. That's right. He wrote down the prescription and folded it into shape. <laughs> a man of romantic sensibilities, one might say. Oh, yeah, the roses on the coffin as well. Okay. The paper looks familiar. Can I open it? Oh, it's the title of the book. <laughs> of course. We'd already opened it when we showed it to the pharmacy. Ah, 
We were planning on handing it over to the Realm Keeping Commission. We suspect it's probably our best chance of tracing it. Yeah, it's the title page of the book of the Angler. We can take it off you. We'll let you know when we find him. Let me see. Uh, of course! I've already figured it out. What is it? It's the title page of the Angler Mystery! Bing bing. The prescription's on this side, but on the back there's... Uh huh? So that's what this is all about? What's on the back? Take a look yourself. To the next reader, the killer is Chang Hong, the nephew of the Chang Ninth. Yours sincerely, best regards, the immortal spoiler. <laughs> okay, you know what? Respect. The immortal spoiler? Ugh, some people just want to watch the world burn. True. I'm starting to think the law chow we envision doesn't square with a real one. Would a villain do a good deed like this? Yeah, man, you vilified him too quickly, alright? He is suspicious, though. Oh, so he paid for the book and tore off the title page to protect people from the spoiler. He must be a fan of this book, too. I knew Angler Mystery fans couldn't be bad. <laughs> Alright, okay, match. No, we didn't get to see him. Locho has become a visitor to the Express. You might come across Locho when you return to the Express. Oh, looks like the whole thing was just a... Big misunderstanding. Yep. Indeed. And I've learned not to judge a book by its cover. Anyway, that's enough reflection for one day. Let's get going. Yep. Uh, get going to where, Mr. Yang? Back to the express. Garden of Gourmet. You two deserve a treat. Oh. Yay. Uh, yay. Worry not. I'll handle it. Oh. You talking to the tree, Locher? Yes, none of this is our concern. The journey has only just begun to... Huh? Where'd the sound go? Huh. Uh, don't do this to me. No. Hearing half a sentence is like developing half a photo. I'll be up all night thinking about it. They did that on purpose, you know? Coffin dancer. Interesting. Okay, I'm glad I came back to that. I nearly missed that. What does that mean? But yeah, that was a fun companion mission, I'm not gonna lie. I was having a blast for all of that. Though I was hoping we would have seen Well and Locher interact. Oh well, not much you can do about that. Maybe next time, or maybe in the next part of the main story when it gets released. We're going on to Yang Ching's companion mission next. But yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.